Good morning. I am Deepika. I have made this video for you all so that you can learn and understand the chapter in a different way. Here I am going to start chapter 6 major landforms of the earth of geography for class 6. Dear students, as we all know, one fourth of the earth's surface is covered by land the land on the earth is not the same everywhere these different features found on the surface of the earth are called landforms landforms can affect the weather climate and lifestyle of a community the earth has an infinite variety of landforms as shown in the pictures these landforms are a result of two processes you will be amazed to know that the ground you are standing on is slowly moving within the earth there is a continuous movement taking place the first is internal process which leads to the upliftment and sinking of the earth's surface at several places the second is the external process it is a continuous wearing down and rebuilding of the land surface the external process is further divided into erosion and deposition the wearing away of the earth surface is called erosion the surface is being lowered by the process of erosion and rebuilt by the process of deposition these two processes are carried out by running water ice and wind dear students hope you can identify these pictures yes the mountains a mountain is any natural elevation of the earth surface the mountains may have a small summit and a broad base it is higher than the surrounding area some mountains are even higher than the clouds in some mountains there are permanently frozen rivers of ice they are called glaciers there are some mountains you cannot see as they are under the sea because of the harsh climate less people live in the mountain areas since the slopes are steep less land is available for farming mountains may be arranged in a line known as range many mountain system consist of a series of parallel ranges extending over 100 of kilometers the himalayas the alps and the andes are mountain ranges of asia europe and south america now there are three types of mountains fold mountains block mountains and volcanic mountains fold mountains are the most common type of mountain the world's largest mountain ranges are fold mountains these ranges were formed over millions of years fold mountains are formed when two plates collide head on and the edges crumbled much the same way as a piece of paper folds when pushed together dear students in this slide you will notice that the first picture is of himalayan mountains the second picture is of the alps and these two mountains are young fold mountains with rugged relief 
and high conical peaks. The third picture down below refers to the Aravalli range in India. It is one of the oldest fold mountain systems in the world. And the last picture refers to the Ural Mountains in Russia, which have rounded features and low elevation. This is also a very old fold mountain. Block mountains are created when large areas are broken and displaced vertically. The uplifted blocks are termed as horst and the lowered blocks are called graben. Example, the Rhine Valley. Volcanic Mountains As the name suggests, volcanic mountains are formed due to volcanic activities. Volcanic mountains are formed when molten rock deep within the earth erupts and pile upon the surface. Magma is called lava when it breaks through the earth's crust. When the ash and lava cools, it builds a cone of rock. Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa and Mount Fujiyama in Japan are examples of such mountains. Dear students, now let's study the uses of mountains. Mountains are very useful. The mountains are a storehouse of water. Many rivers have their sources in the glaciers in the mountains. Reservoirs are made and the water is harnessed for the use of people. Water from the mountains is also used for irrigation and generation of hydroelectricity. The river valleys and terraces are ideal for cultivation of crops. Mountains have a rich variety of flora and fauna. The forest provides better fuel, fodder, shelter and other products like gum, raisins, etc. Mountains provide an idyllic site for tourists. They visit the mountains for the scenic beauty. Several sports like paragliding, hang gliding, river rafting and skying are popular in the mountains. Plateaus A plateau is an Elevated flat land. It is a flat topped tableland standing above the surrounding area. A plateau may have one or more sides with steep slopes. The height of plateaus often varies from few hundred meters to several thousand meters. Plateaus like mountains may be young or old. The Deccan Plateau in India is one of the oldest plateau. The Tibet Plateau is the highest plateau in the world with a height of 4000 to 6000 meters above the mean sea level. Plateaus are very useful because they are rich in mineral deposits. As a result, Many of the mining areas in the world are located in the plateau areas. The African plateau is famous for gold and diamond mining. In India, huge reserves of iron, coal and manganese are found in the Chota Nagpur plateau. In the plateau areas, there may be several waterfalls as the river falls from a great height. The lava plateaus are rich in black soil that are fertile and good for cultivation. Many plateaus have scenic spots and are of great attraction to tourists.